has you the, the concept of marriage between Ahmadi and non Ahmadi is controversial in many societies uh, for the simple fact that I mean whenever a non Ahmadi establishes a I mean a relationship with an Ahmadi there's a likelihood that the Ahmadi will go astray but wherein there is a possibility of converting the non Ahmadi partner to Ahmadiyya should there be a compromise compromise on what? Marriage? compromise on what? on that sort of marriage which marriage? No, well, actually, the well, I am with the understanding that an Amadi boy yes. is allowed to marry an Amadi girl, a right. non Amadi girl. Yes. But the Amadi I mean, girl is not allowed to marry a non Amadi boy. Boy, correct. For the simple fact that, I mean, it is easier to, I mean, women have sort of weaker willpower. That's right, yes. Right. But we are in, there is a possibility for the, for the woman to convert the man. Should that be a compromise to convert the man into... You see, that is a compromise in religion, which is not permissible. Because to make marriage instrumental to converting others to the religion of one party is in principle objectionable. You see? It's, it's not uh, the right way of spreading a faith at all. Because if you have the pre uh, if you convert somebody for the sake of the wife, then his religion will only carry meaning in the family relationship no more, not to God anyway. It, have, it will have no meaning to God. That is why the Holy Prophet wasallam has mentioned that al innam al amalu bin niyate. The actions will always be judged by the intentions. And the intentions make actions. In the, exp in the explanation of this hadith, Ahadur sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has made it manifestly clear that many a time the intention influences the actions. And uh, in a manner that the actions may appear to be differently directed, but they ultimately reach their goal and end there. Mm. He explains if one marries a wife for his a person for his beauty, for her beauty, a husband or man, a man marries a girl for her beauty and uh, has her then the purpose is ended, he's got her, but it will have nothing to do with God. If you pay anything for the sake of uh, gaining uh, good reputation, earning good reputation in the society, that he's a very great philanthropist, he serves the cause of the poor, so the object is met, you've got the fruit, no more. What do you expect from God then? So the intentions determine the nature of the actions and the end with the actions once the purpose is achieved. But the actions of the Muslims must be determined by their, determ by their intentions which should always be directed, directed to God. If the intentions are related to God, then they can't create limited actions which will end with the death. Already I have proved with reference to this hadith that the intentions give either a, a short life to the actions. The actions would correspond to the uh, intention in the manner that you achieve the worldly purpose and both the intention and the action have come to an end, finished. If the intentions go beyond the limitations of one's life here on earth, they relate related to God. And whatever actions follow their, those intentions, they also gain a sort of eternity. Then it is for Allah to reward them and to take account of them in the future after death. So these are the, such fundamental issues you are raising. 
there can't be any compromise on any worldly, with any worldly uh, motives. Because then it will be just cheating yourself and cheating God. Some people do, but there we have our own limitations as well. We have to accept the cheating. If somebody says, I have become an, Ahmadi, an Ahmadi Muslim, now we can't peep into the intentions. Although apparently he seems to be wrong, he is doing it for the sake of the, wife, the girl, yet we will not penalize the family because we have to accept the intention on its face value. That purpose will be served, of course. But it's, of no, it's not of any avail to the person, nor to the girl, who escapes the sanctions from the Jamaat because uh, the, the so-called would-be husband has accepted Ahmadiyyat. God knows best and he can't be cheated. That again is a safeguard against anybody trying to cheat others because his intentions are not readable. Right? You should understand the whole issue in yes, this yes. larger, bigger perspective. Correct? Mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you.